Good morning, I'm Dr. Jack Alone. I work as a vascular and lymphatic surgeon in the hospital Sindinta in here and in the hospital Heart Zikanus in Mold in Belgium. I have a specialization in general surgery, vascular surgery, uh, microsurgery. I perform the lymphovenous shunts. I had uh, a training from Professor Campisi in Genova and I obtained uh, a PhD doctorate through the University of Pavia under the supervision of Professor Campisi. I obtained uh, my medical degree at the University of Rome, uh, Università Cattolica del Sacro Cuore, Catholic University. I am now working in these two hospitals and performing uh, lymphovenous anastomosis to treat lymphedema patients. Lymphedema is uh, a severe uh, chronic disease. There are approximately 40 million patients worldwide with uh, lymphedema. At this moment, we cannot cure lymphedema, but we can reduce it and uh, stabilize. A system that will um, drain all the water and proteins and uh, lymphocytes from the peripheric tissue and it's uh, uh, for this reason very important when you have an obstruction of the lymphatic system you will have an accumulation of fluids and proteins and a higher incidence of uh, infections. There is a primary lymphedema so it's congenital and uh, we think that uh, most of these patients have a genetic problem and there is a secondary lymphedema those are mostly patients after uh, uh, cancer for example patients who uh, received irradiation patients where the lympho, lympho nodes were removed mm -hmm. because of cancer primary lymphedema is always more difficult to treat and uh, secondary lymphedema gives better results Although, uh, when we combine both techniques, co conservative and surgical technique, we both have a reduction of the volume on the, of the limbs and better movement, a reduction of the rate of infection. A patient with lymphedema can develop after 20 or 30 years a lymphangiosarcoma that is a very aggressive sort of tumor. So, uh, I think it's very important uh, to reduce and stabilize lymphedema. Uh, the, the lymphedema can influence uh, a patient from the psychological point of view. And uh, second, uh, it's not only the patient that has a problem, but also the family. You see some patients end up in a wheelchair, so of course it's not only a problem of the patient, but also of the family that has to take care of the patient. A patient with lymphedema will have a higher chance to develop infections. The range of movement is reduced. Sometimes they end up in a wheelchair and there is a small risk after 20, 30 years of lymphedema to develop a very aggressive tumor, the lymphangiosarcoma. In the last five years, uh, we treated approximately 800 patients with lymphedema. A part of it only with conservative treatment and a part with combined conservative and surgical treatment. Well, we first uh, have to make a studiation of the lymphedema and then we have to evaluate uh, if the patient received a correct conservative treatment. Uh, in that case, if we still have um, a swollen limb, then we start thinking about uh, surgical treatment. The result of surgical treatments are better uh, if started uh, very soon. Yeah. I think it's very important to start treatment immediately mm -hmm. um, and also to try to reduce and to keep stabilized the lymphedema. First of all, we have to make a diagnosis, studiation of the disease. To, to make sure that the patient received uh, up until uh, this moment a correct treatment. Afterwards, we will ask for imaging to have an idea 
uh, of the extension of lymphedema, and then we can plan a treatment. The planning includes a conservative treatment and afterward a surgical treatment. Very often, not always. First of all, to go to the lymphedema centrum, uh, we will do a clinical examination and make the studiation of the disease. We will observe the progression eventually. We will do some examination like lymphocytography uh, to have an idea of the uh, disease. And afterwards we can make a planning for the future, conservative treatment and eventually surgical treatment. Well, the lymphocytography is uh, an examination where you can see the extension of lymphedema. You can see uh, in which way the lymphatic fluid is flowing away uh, from the limbs, from the site of injection. And we use that information very often uh, to plan the treatment. Conservative is uh, always the base of the pyramid, and then eventually we can perform surgery. Sometimes, uh, in order to evaluate the location of the lymphatics that are still working, we use uh, fluorescence techniques. We perform very often the MRI of the limbs. We perform an, a volumetry, so we calculate the volume. What is very important is the compliance of the patient to the treatment. So, after conservative treatment and surgery, the patient will always to wear a compressive garment, a stocking. That's very important. And to do some physical exercise and to do manual lymph drainage. Mm -hmm. At this moment is uh, for all the life of the patient. We just started uh, with the research. Uh, everybody has uh, his own field. Uh, we uh, just published two papers about uh, lymphedema treatment uh, from the conservative point of view and from the surgical point of view. We have good results. At this moment, we cannot cure it. We are uh, busy with other examinations and uh, we are busy with uh, several studies with other universities, for example, with the Department of Genetics of the University of Louvain-la-Neuve. After lymphovenous uh, anastomosis, we have uh, almost always a reduction of the volume, a reduction of uh, uh, the rate of infection. The patient can move the limb much better. Some patient that came on a wheelchair, they could walk again. And um, I think also uh, for the future, when you have a reduction of uh, the infections, and mostly uh, the infections do not recidivate, you have a very good prognosis. So what I mean, um, after um, microsurgical technique, you have immediately a reduction of the volume, the patient can move the limb much better, and um, that gives a reduction of the incidence of uh, uh, infections and also the risk of developing lymphangiosarcoma. We have very low rate of complications, less than 1%. Mostly they are infections and uh, eventually uh, deep venous thrombosis and uh, uh, allergy. But uh, the, the rate of complication is the same as for other operations. I think it's very important to have a hospital that is really well equipped for lymphedema. That's why we call it a lymph centrum. Why? Because everybody who knows uh, in his field enough of lymphedema. Very important to have a complete team. That's why I always say uh, lymph centrum means a hospital and doctors and nurses and physiotherapists that are very well prepared to treat this disease.